this morning I'm really surprised by a fine brother that I have so much respect for and revered. I remember back then when I used to work at KFM. He used to call me and say, now you're doing a good job. It's not easy breaking through in Kumasi, but I know that you will. Countless times, he has, he has actually motivated me in many ways. Seeing him this morning, I'm so sober. And I am happy again to see him. His name is Linford Kwabna Asari. Most people know him as Ochinoko. Did I get your name right, Ochinoko? You're all set. <laughs> How are you doing this morning? Great. Good to hear you talk. Okay, that voice actually brought a smile back on my face. But I'm all sober this morning. I know that you, you, lots of times you've had many ways of inspiring people on your shows, on every single radio station that you had been on. I have had opportunities to listen to you. Can I just take a moment from you and uh, ask you to inspire one or two people this morning before I get into my conversation with you? Right now. Nah. Right. Right. Thanks for having me. Um, there are so many ways in order to kill the cats as far as inspiration is concerned. And now I'm going to start it from this way. Mm. There was this guy in the States called uh, Glenn Cunningham. Mm. That was somewhere in 1934. Um, he got burnt at the age of seven at school. And he was hospitalized for a couple of years. And the best way for him, the two legs should be amputated. But his mom insisted, no. So he was in wheelchair for almost 10 years, idle, nowhere to go in the house. So at a point in time, he talked to himself. He did inspire himself. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Then he was able to get out from the wheelchair without the consent of the parents and other siblings. He tried on his own several occasions for a couple of months before the family got to know. He went to school. Do you know what happened? Mm, tell me. He never bought a car. He tried to, you know, quit from people giving him a ride. You see him all the time running, 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 running with the sad legs. In 1938, there was uh, athletics in New York. It was indoor because it was a winter time. He was able to make one mile sports on the clock, four minutes, eight seconds. And he still holds the record. You can imagine hmm. who was bent. Hmm. His legs were said to be amputated. But he was able to do it. And as I speak to you now, he still holds the world record. So what can you do? Mm. I don't know the situation you find yourself in. You can make it. Talk to yourself. Don't believe in anything. Between you and your focus is bullshit. People will say a lot of stuff. But if you hear to the advice, you will go wayward. Mm. That's all I can say as far as inspiration is concerned. Mm. Do you, do you think that God is do you believe God is working for you? Have have you felt that many times? Me alone? Mhm. You know God works in a miraculous way. He does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we are it's like we are all candidate for miracle to happen from mm. God. So I do believe that. Is there any big miracle you believe in God right now as I'm talking to you? Oh, since from birth. Since bro, from birth. Was what was been the biggest miracle you've been believing God for? As we are here, mm -hmm. yeah, the news broke out. Oh, he's gone. He's dead. Okay, mm. but I'm still living. So that's the greatest miracle in my life. Mm. Mm. Can we go back a little bit? Uh, I I have known you in person. I I have had one or two uh, conversation with you, not personal, but about job. Sometimes when I needed counsel, I I would speak to you. Uh, what do you think? What what? <clears throat> What's the kind of perception you think that people have about Ochinoko? Like, personally, what do you think people 
the perception people have about you? You see? For me, I think you're a good man. But what do you think people <laughs> think of you? You see, men's evil deeds are written on the brass and the good ones in the waters. Mm. When you are wrong, everyone remembers. Mm. But when you are right, no one remembers. You get it here? Mm. So it will be very difficult for me to pinpoint or point outright mm. this or that. Mm. But I think you're a good man. Do you think a lot to, of people feel mean, or think mean, you are a good man? My inner man tells me that you are a good man. I'm a good man. But mm. I don't know the perception people out there have for me. One more thing, I'm not living up to anyone's expectation. Mm. I am that I am. Mm. That is me. But people do not you know, get me right. I try to speak the truth. Nothing but the truth. Mm. And, you know, truth are very scared. Comments are free. So me, I know I'm a good man. Mm. Mm. I want to know Ochinoko very well for myself as now Claudio, so that when I hear someone say something outside, I know that I know him so well so that I cannot be perturbed or bothered by whatever people say about you. Uh, who is Ochinoko? <laughs> There's uh, two things here. As in profile? Yes. Right. Um, Kwabna Asari. Born in Accra, mm. Limli, about 50 years ago. Mm. Both parents from Nsita, mm. close to Mampong. Mm. Yeah, I've stayed in Accra, Koforidia, Tamle, Sunyani. Yeah, I, w- I wasn't dropout. Yeah, somewhere 2005, I went to university, but um, uh, there was a financial you know, problem, so I couldn't. So I decided to quit. Then to Kumasi Polytechnic, mm. where I started radio. Then to other commercial stations like Classic FM, in Techiman. Then oh, to, you did Classic FM? Yeah. Oh, she. Yeah. What there, were you doing there? I used to play reggae, okay. gospel, and you know, other talk shows. Okay. Then to Mercury, uh, Asempa in Accra, Kumasi, uh, Mishra FM, then Fox FM. Uh, United States uh, Radio 1 in Boston, Golden Radio in Worcester, and um, All African Radio in New Jersey, Newark, and now at um, Hot FM in Accra. Mm. I have um, five kids on my own, two in America, three here in Ghana, adopted ones, six. You've adopted six kids? Yes, of course, yeah. Wow. What was the motivation in adopting six kids? You personally have, have five kids and you're adopting six, more like 11. Yeah, that that tells you who I am. Okay? That's, That's where you can figure out my character. Um, actually, they are not from my children's home. Mm. Okay? It's like friends who has kicked the bucket, mm. who has gone to the grave or go to their maker. Mm. I was good to them mm. and they were also good to me. Oh. So that's the best thing I can do for them. Mm. I told you were a good man. That's what I believe. That's what my heart tells me. Right. Just when you walked in, that's what my heart told me, that you were a good man. Right. So I, 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 I could really guess right. My spirit just said you were a good man and that's who you are. Right. Of all these places that you have worked, uh, wh- which of these would, would you say was your breaking point as far as your career was concerned, <sighs> media career? My goodness. That was Mercury. Mercury was your breaking point? Yes, please. Okay. What did you miss about Mercury? What do you miss about Mercury? Being on Mercury? I miss everything about Mercury. Was it like a home for you? Sure. Okay. Sure. The CEO, the late Nana Kwabnapoku, was more like that. The sort of advice. When you go wrong, he will never hesitate, you know, to point it out right to you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And, you know, after all, just bring you back to where you're supposed to be. So for how long did you work with Mercury? Mercury, close to six years. Wow. Yeah, that wow. was the maximum. Wow. wow. And then you moved on to... Insha. Insha. Okay, so what made you move to Insha? Oh. Were you too comfortable at Mercury? I was okay, but you know what? He died. Okay. Yeah, and I thought it twice. It was the right time for me to move. Okay. Yeah. So then you moved to Insure. Yeah. And then, uh, as Mercury, were you still using Ochinoko, the name Ochinoko? Yeah. Okay. From my infancy. What does Ochinoko mean? Is it part of your name? Nope. Okay. It's it's a Ghana ga language. Like you're doing something, you're busy always. Okay. Yeah. Ochinoko. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm a guy. I haven't heard that. Oh, right. <laughs> Hope you know who. Cool. Okay, okay. 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 I get it now. Mm-hmm. Okay, I get it now. But in Ashanti, you know. I see. Mm-hmm. So, um, Inshira FM. Right. How was it like at Inshira? Oh, everything was okay, but later on, after uh, the end of my contract, you know, things, you know, got missing. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you signed a contract for a certain period. That's what I do. Okay. And it was a three years period. Okay. And I was looking for extension. But they said, no, like, uh, you're going to work like um, what you call a service provider. They're going to give you your salary monthly. I said no. Why were they not so ready to renew your I don't contract? know because um, because I felt that at that point you were you had worked so hard for Insura FM. I, the listenership base was so I, amazing. I, I was the lord of Insura FM. That, that, that's the truth. That's what I'm saying yeah. because it's pretty difficult to keep people awake in the night but you kept people awake in the night. <laughs> Wherever I went or I, I drove in town people were listening to Ochinoko and I was like Hello, why are people up listening? What is what is it about Ochinoko the people are listening at line? And like I said, it's not easy keeping people awake in the night. So why were they not ready to renew your contract with them? You see, um, there are times that we confront value worlds when they do something for. Mm. And that was a time for them. There was a conflict of interest. Because I you are Yeah, I'm listening. Like I brought some guys in there mm. from nowhere. And I did train them, okay? So they went in there to say, oh, if Uchinoko is not there, we can go about it. We can do it. So what next? Mm. Even the colossal amount that is demanding is of no use. You get my point? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was informed. This is what we have on the table. And I said, no, I can't do it. A whole lot of stuff, which I cannot mention, okay? Yeah. So people started bad mouthing and bad biting you from Ishira. It, it was like backstabbers, backstabbers. So I decided to move out to Fox FM. They they felt that you were too much of a big god that they couldn't contend with. That's why they were backstabbing you. Not really. But what I understand in radio or in world as a whole or in totality, uh, people with um, multi talents mm-hmm. are very difficult. Very. We, we don't control talent, mm. but we manage. Mm, that's right. That's I, it. for one, you can't control me. Mm. Even my parents, no, you can. But you can manage me. That's right. If I know what I'm doing is right, what next? I need not to double check. Okay? Mm. Yeah, that is mean. So I did not pave way or I did not set the clock firmly for them to control me. Mm. So I decided to move out. After all, you did not pay my school fees. Mm. I'm not living up to your expectations. But mine... So I decided to move out. Mm. So that was the reason. I've never had the opportunity to ask you this, but I think that I can. Can I go ahead and ask? No problem. <laughs> Answer no question that you love. I'm going to ask you. All the stories that you used to talk about on Inshira, mm-hmm. were they real life stories that people were bringing to you? Yes, of course. I don't believe in cook stories. You see, because we have a lot of Uncle Toms in the society. Mm. Lies. Mm. So when you, like, when you bring people... You know, to fake stories. In the near future, they just come out, you know, and open the cupboard. And we will see the escalator in. Mm. So I don't do that. All of them were real stories. And you were, you were traveling yourself to get all those real stories yourself? Initially, I used to. But at a point in time, the program became big. So they do came by themselves. Were you not afraid going out to talk about or get such stories? No. You know, my dad was once investigator mm. in the police service. Mm. So I was once a barrel boy, so I used to go out with him. Mm. So I know the length and breadth of investigations. Wow. Wow. So with that, you took it into your career. Right. Hmm. That's where I got my passion. So when Multimedia decided not to re- renew your contracts, then you had to move to Fox FM. Yes, of Did course. Did they approach you that they wanted to work with you or you approached After, them? Uh, um, Hot FM? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was in the line. For almost five years at that time, when I was working with Mercury then. So it wasn't something difficult for me to do so. Mm. So I was called by the CEO. So the very day I left Insura, I started Fox FM. The very day. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is me. You mind me, the very day I left the somewhere, I was working somewhere else. Yeah. So you and I have something in common. Yeah. I remember the very day I left Spirit FM, I was working at Capital Radio. That's right. Yeah. And like you said, if you're if 
if you carry something, you're unstoppable. Mm -hmm. It's only God who can stop. You. Right. So working at Fox FM, was it very, as compared to Inshira FM, did you find Fox FM as a home? Yeah, but you know, I used to work with my uncle, the CEO of Fox FM, okay. as a bouncer okay. at the nightclub. So mm -hmm. Fox, you know, has been my home since the memorial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was another home for me too. How did you feel like carrying the same concept to Fox FM from Inshira to Fox FM? Once you are the originator, you didn't mind carrying the same thing to Fox FM. <laughs> it, 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 you know, it, it, the concepts, you know, I, I brought it from um, Mercury, Inshira, then to Fox FM. But even I even started at um, uh, Link Radio at the Kumasi Polytechnic. Mm. But that shouldn't be a blow, the concept. I brought it. But with the issue of Israel, it was like a conflict of interest. Mm. Look at my point here. Mm. I was even sent to court to change the concept. But Mercury was there before the establishment of Israel. FM. So at that time, it, 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 it did not make sense to me. Mm. Mm. You get my point here? Mm. Because mm. I was in the system with Mercury before Israel. FM. You get my point here? Mm. Then too. So why do you tell me I should change the concept? For what? Why, why should I change it? Why did they want you to change the concept? Because they were afraid. What were they? they, they yeah. What were they afraid of? Competition. Mm. Uh, and they refused to join me. Hmm. So that was the best way to, you know, take me to competent court of jurisdiction, you know, to silence me. But you know, it, it couldn't work out. Hmm. All right, you're live on Ultimate Branches just about 28 uh, minutes after 11. We are live on our Facebook as well, and I am in the studio with Ochinoko. I'm so happy to see you. You have no idea. I am so excited to see you. And um, it, it's, it's just reminding me of a lot of things. Uh, when God is holding you, there's nothing that can break you. Yeah, right. That's one of the things right. that I can say right now. Right. Richard, Ayusu is listening to us and watching us live on Facebook. Richard thinks that the camera is blurred. Richard, don't you worry. Uh, we'll make sure that you get, you get the pictures right. And he says the interview, enjoying the interview too. Thank you, Richard. You're asking if he's joining EIB. Just be just be in there. You'll get to know whatever it is. <laughs> Akwesi Romeo says, welcome to EIB, Ochi Noko. Nana Yao Beima says, hmm. Ochi, let me ask you, what's your biggest motivation or inspiration? In life? Hmm. Everything. I, I cannot be specific or single something out. Everything about me. What motivates you in 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 terms of your work field? That's what I'm saying. Everything. Everything, which is not beyond creation. Mm. Are yeah. you a Christian? What do you mean by Christian? I'm just asking. Do you believe in God? Do you believe in Jesus? You know what? I, I don't want to diffuse questions from you. Okay. You get my point. Mm. So you can't give me an uh, explanation to that. <laughs> what do you mean by Christian? Christian, somebody who believes in God. Muslims also do believe in God. Are yeah, they, they believe. They, I mean Jesus Christ. <laughs> Muslims don't believe in Jesus Christ. <laughs> and who is Jesus Christ? The Son of God. Wow. Anyway, I believe in God. Do the Creator. To, do you go to church? I don't go to church. Why? Why should I go sit in a room congregating? For what? Do you know what? Sitting at the garage, you know, doesn't build you a car. And sitting at a church doesn't make you a Christian. So I don't believe in that. You don't believe in going to church? Yes, of course. Why should I go to church for? But uh, the Bible says we should not forsake the, the, the gathering of the assembly. Oh, you mean to tell me those in the church are all Christians? I'm just and asking. go to heaven? I'm just asking. <laughs> it's, it's, it's by their deeds and their fruits that you will know them. Right. And by your fruits. Your fruits right. will determine whether you go to heaven and you believe in God. That's the son of God. Whether you go to heaven or not. Right. You know what I do? So you haven't been in church before? Oh, the last time I went to church was last week, Sunday. <laughs> what made you go to church? Uh huh. What made you go to church? I feel like going. Was it just a normal feeling that you want to go to church? Do you know what? No, tell I, me. I, I went there to see and listen. What did you want what to see? What is happening in there? What did you want because to see? Because there are a lot of stuff on the WhatsApp here and the social media about churches and the pastors. Mm. Right, so I just went in there to. So you went to church out of curiosity? Right. Not out of free Why should way? I go to church? Stand before the congregation. Pastor, I'm sick. I cannot see. I'm crippled. I cannot walk. 
and the pastor will just bring something to the person. Within twinkle of an eye, the person will be walking. It is all our pastors that speak. Oh, no, no, no. That's what I. That's, that's what, what you witness. believe. That's okay. what I'm saying now. Okay. 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 And it will be on the radio, TV. Mm. What for? You've done it. If indeed you've done it, what again? You do it for God. You get my point? Mm. Yeah, I don't believe in those stuff. Oh, Pastor, I have something here. I'm just from America. And, you know, uh, things went on good for me. So this is what I have. Bye, into the bowl. So Come you, on. So you never prayed to God? You know, every single minute in my life. You pray to God? I do pray. You know, and my belief... What do you tell him? Okay, your belief. My belief... You know, we have different beliefs, different cultures and so forth. Mm. But my belief is in God. Mm. My belief is to do good. Who do you refer to as God? The Almighty that you know. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm. I go to prisons. I go to children's home. Every time I went to the psychiatric, give what I have. That's my belief. Mm. By going to church, I don't have any belief. Even if you ask me to follow you to your church, I will do that exactly. Oh, so if I invite you to my yes, church, yes, of course, I will go? go. I will do everything. That'll when be. you go to Rome, do what Romans do. That shouldn't be my problem. Mm. And if I say this, you can't say oh, he's not a Christian. Mm. Who's a Christian? That's what I really said. Sitting at the garage, you know, doesn't build your car. Sitting in the church doesn't make you a Christian. Okay. Mm. Yeah, everyone wants to go to heaven, but Christian don't want to die. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying this conversation with you. <laughs> oh Lord, I'm I'm excited. I'm doing this with you. Oh yeah, I am very excited. So we can talk about everything, right? I have no problem. Okay, that's what you said. Okay, mm. so we are live again on Ultimate Brunch. Don't you worry. I I like interviews like this. I get to know people for myself, and then you don't listen to what people say about them. It's always best best to know people for yourself. So I I'm going to ask you. Um, so being at Fox FM, Fox FM was a real home for you. Right. And working was really fun. Mm-hmm. Was it was it tedious working at Fox FM? Nope. It was not. Yeah. Everything just came like that. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. How? How did it just come cool like that for you? What came? You haven't said nothing. I mean that, you know, when you're working at certain places, mm-hmm. you don't have the room to operate. You don't have the freedom to be creative. But working at Choice of um, Fox FM, you had the room to operate. You had the room to be yeah. creative. Every, everywhere I go. Everywhere you know, I, you yeah, come. I can't even say I'm the toughest man on earth when it's come to radio. That's what I said. You can't control me. You can only manage me. And I remember James Star once told me that. He says, this guy is the most toughest person you can, you can ever have on radio. Yeah, you can. Who do you miss most? You. Me? Yes, of course. Why do you miss me? I don't know. What about me? It's all about you. <laughs> Tell me what's about me. It's all you about miss? you. <laughs> of all the people that you've worked, you've never worked with me, so how do you miss me? That's the best answer I can give you. It's only you that I've missed. And today I'm here with you. We have more than 40 stations in the Kumasi. Mm. Uh, why me here? Ask yourself. Why are you here? Because I miss you. <laughs> My listeners are enjoying you. This one says, good morning. Good morning, Miss. Now, very interesting conversation right there with Ochinoko. Virus, you sent us that one. This one says, Miss Now, hmm, nice interview. This man is too dope. Uh, money, money mail, Chumisi, sent us that one. And you miss Ochinoko. Okay, hang in there. Uh, don't ask me all the questions about him and whether he's joining EIB. We'll respond to that later. But Ochi. Um, I'm going to ask you this again. <laughs> I have no problem. Once you have no problem, I mean, I can ask. I'm yeah. very comfortable yeah. in asking. Yeah. So, how did all this happen? Uh, people spoke about you, you were not well, and all that. What actually happened to you? I want to know that for myself. I don't know what you're talking about. It looks like the question is not going down well with me. Go straight to the point. Feel free. Ask anything you want to ask. Okay. Right. In the news, we heard that you were not well. Mm-hmm. You had been struck by something. Whatever it is, I didn't know what, mm-hmm. what, what struck you. Mm-hmm. But what happened to you? Tell me what happened to you. Right. Right. You know, it was calculated attempt, you know, to eliminate me. Okay. By those guys I was working with. Okay. I was having severe chest pain. Uh, and I was called by a doctor friend 
at Konfanochi. Mm. And I was given uh, medication that was injectable. Couple of them. So after three weeks, I called him to continue the medication. And he said, he's not in town. So he directed me to one a doctor around Santasi. So I did not go. So after a month or two, there was this friend who used to come to my office. Mm. Like we were sharing the same vicinity mm. at Infantino Town, to mm. be precise. Mm. So he directed me to the same um, hospital. Mm. So there I was given infusion of um, five bags within five days. We well, just chest pains, so we were given just, infusion. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And also after us, after three weeks, I was experiencing, you know, uh, body itching. Mm. Yeah. And I was, my eye started reading. So I went to Confanochi for another medication. So after two months, I was sitting outside. So I decided to space. All of a sudden, blood was flowing from my mouth. So blood was not flowing from your mouth in the studio, as some people say. No, 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 it wasn't at the studio. So why would people say such a lie? Why would people lie? That it was mere speculation, you know. You know, when someone wants to eliminate you, they do all things possible to do that. You get my point here. Did you have issues with anybody at your workplace that they wanted no, to eliminate you? No, at all. You? I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't do that. Because I know, and the news also came out afterwards. We so, had we had stories that somebody was owing you and blah blah blah, no, and then no. you went confronting the person because you thought that you were the toughest man on planet Earth. And who this was that happened, person? This happened. Who was that person? And who was there? You got my point here. Mm. I gave my house out to somebody who came in to rent the house, okay? Mm. And he came in as a bishop. Mm. But even um, I did not know anything about this man. Mm. When you go in the there's this that's like what we have here mm. bible candle mm. and other stuff and the wicked people oh the most wicked people always use the bible the most wicked people use bible they do present themselves like a pastor get my point mm. yeah but when i got this problem at the confanochi i got to know he has you know built a signpost with the other stuff which indicates that his grand uh master of course what not it mm. wasn't true mm. I did not go anywhere. Okay, who was there? Mm. Mm -hmm. So the medication, back to the medication given me. So it was not the grandmaster no, 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 or anything no, 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 that no, no, caused no, no. the whole problem. No, no, no. It's a story I don't want to hear. It's like using me in the form of advert mm. for people to know he was strong, but he wasn't. Okay, mm. it was mere speculations. Mm. Okay, so this medication they gave me resulted um. Stephen Johnson. Mm -hmm. So the whole body peeled and my nails also came out. Mm. Okay, so I was on life support for a um, month and over. Okay, so when I revived, you know, I came home and for a couple of weeks, my eye, you know, still reddening and it went off. That's it. That's all I can see. Mm. Right. So at that time, like people were coming out with stories and you were nowhere to retract them. Okay, mm -hmm. now I'm here. Who was that person? You get my point. Mm. Yep. They said you were blind. Was that Yes, true? of course, I can see. As I speak to you, I can see. There's nothing to hide. But I am still doing what I used to do more than before. I use my own phone, WhatsApp, everything. And that is what broke me when you got to the studio. I know you can't see, but I'm telling you this. When you just walked in, you broke me completely. Tears started just no, no, falling. No, 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 no. But just when you sat down, I just said to God, God, just speak to me. Let me ask him the right things that no, you want no, me no, to no, ask him. No, 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 I almost said I'm okay and I'm living better than before. Okay. My story is like Job in the biblical book. Mm, okay? He says, yeah, you Friends, see me. Mm. wives, siblings, everyone left him. So, so it was, it's actually friends that you have worked with that caused this, yes, made of, this happen to yes, you. Yes, of course. Do you Those know, do you yeah, know, I know them. them? Yeah, I know them. With, without fear, without fear or doubt, would you be able to to mention mention their names? names? Yes. Right, the main man, okay, who sat the clock firmly for me to be in this situation. It's called Yapoku, Infantino Town. I see. He was once a tailor. Yeah, that's one name. What did you do to him that he would he, he would wish I this don't for know. You? He was being. Uh, I don't know whether he was given the contract. 
he was contracted to do so. And yes, that's what he used to do. Okay? You know, there are two races when it comes to human race. Mm. Okay? Mm. Um, we have mortals and immortals. That's right. So who are you? Tell me. I am in Jesus, so I'm an immortal being. You are immortal, so you will <laughs> die, right? You will die. Yeah. You will die. Everybody will die Everybody one die. day. That's immortal. Mm. Mortal never dies, isn't it? That's right. Right. I am mortal. Ultimate I am mortal. We didn't mean I feel I am mortal. I will never die. There are some people, they have the set perceptions when they read, okay? Mm. Books, listen to stories from their old parents or whatever, grandpa and so forth. Mm. So they, they kill, okay? They kill to survive. Mm. Others kill for pleasure. Mm. Okay? And that's what they do. May the bejo, there's something come on on our lips here in Ashanti. That's what they do. When they kill, it gives them more power to live longer. Hmm. And they also have the perception they are mortals. Ultimate FM. They will never see death like Enoch in the Bible. Mm. Right. Mm. So mm. that's the main reason. So that's one of the people that, that caused Yes, this. of course. Yeah. Do you know his whereabouts right now? Oh, yeah. I can trace him, but it's of no use. I have given him to my maker. Have you forgiven him? Everyone. Everyone. Every Ultimate single effect. soul who said something wrong about me. Did you ever say any negative word against them when mm. they did this to you? No. And you know, most of them are sick. Most of them are gone to in, the grave. In the painful moment, you never altered any. No, 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 no. They can't even come close to me. They can't even come. Hmm. We are live on Ultimate Brunch. My name is Na Claude. We have Ultimate about just 15 or 16 minutes away from 12. And in no time, we'll be wrapping up our conversation. But I, this is really an eye-opener for me. This interview is really an eye-opener. This one says, I never knew that Ochinoko could really speak good English. And oh, so I didn't go to school? <laughs> <laughs> oh, because of my tree program, Jesus Christ. Then I'll be working here. You know that's the impression people have? They say when you speak good tree, they, they think that you, don't, you, you can't speak good English. English. That's but I went to good school. Exactly. But I'm still schooling. All the schools that you yeah. run by me, they are good schools. Yeah. Hmm. And this one says, I am shocked, Miss Na. Dope interview. Please, how can I enroll in your radio school? Nice show. I don't have a radio <laughs> school yet. <laughs> Come to a local radio school in Boston. <laughs> this one says, good morning, Miss Na. Very interesting conversation right there. Uh, I'm glad that Ochinoko has been bold to mention one of those names. Uh, virus. Yes, he has. And I'm sure he'll mention more of them. This one says, Miss Na, nice one. You're making me understand everything about this man perfectly. God bless you. Thank you, Bieja. Thank you too. And thanks for tuning in my uh, tuning into ultimate fm we are certainly the ultimate so one man one man did this to you or there are many more who did this there are, ma are many more but few names i can mention hmm. you know but i know i have people in kumasi who really love me so when you do mention the names they're gonna you know chase they them go they're gonna them. chase them from town mm. yeah mm. 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 but you say you have forgiven them yes of course I'm glad that you say you're forgiven because forgiving someone is one of the the hardest things that any of us can do. But forgiving someone who want to take your life, God bless you, Ochinoko. Mm -hmm. God bless you. So, on the sick bed, everything. So how come you're well now? <laughs> it was a miracle. That's what I said. Uh, that's what I asked in the beginning. Do you yeah, believe that's in what miracles? I said. Every single soul is a candidate for a miracle to happen from God. Mm. So it was a miracle. Mm. Right. So did you fly out of did, did they fly you out of the country after the attack and everything? Or you who? you you stayed in Ghana to be well? Come again, who fly me? I'm asking. Who fly what? Maybe family. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have family. Ultimate I don't have family. Are you serious? I have no friend. Yes, of course. I am not your family. You are. You are my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate FM. You know, from the sick bed, uh, I spent about a um, month here. When I got blind, I went to South Africa for the first time for transplant, but they couldn't do it. So I went to Malaysia for the transplant and I spent a couple of months in Malaysia. So Malaysia did the eye the, transplant? Uh, yeah. Really? Okay. But it sh it, they should have done one after the other, but the condition was so severe, so they did the two at the same time. So I came back and spent about four months here. 
afterwards it failed so i went back and they couldn't fix it back i went to nigeria for a couple of months they couldn't fix it so i went to america san francisco so i've been in america for almost five years since the situation happened what have you been doing in America since you went to America? Just Actually, for your health? No, not different. really. Working. Mm. Working and chasing girls and other stuff. Yeah. You like women? Ah, you know. You are now one of them. <laughs> Give me the break here. <laughs> Am I? Am I one of them? Yes, of course. That's why I said I've missed you. <laughs> you have a bunch of ladies you know, working on the radio in Ikumasi. But why are you? <laughs> Just ask yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you just made me smile again. Yeah, oh to. my goodness. But, uh, you know, with the, with the situation I find myself in, maybe you try one way or the other to pity me, mm. but I also try to put smile on your face. That yeah. is me. Yeah. Yeah. I've gone past there. Mm. Okay. I'm okay. I'm all set. Mm. I do what I used to do. So there's nothing wrong. <laughs> Oh, him, I says she's enjoying the conversation. Ekefiye says, God bless you. Pascal says, she says, now please would you know go to join EIB Network, especially Ibusian <laughs> FM. I missed him on the airwaves. <sighs> the the Reg Day translation was wow. I In fact, I miss him. Adu Samsung says, you're too much. Honorable Abedi Kwada Sukumasa says, thank God Uchinoko is in the studio. Hashtag ultimate brunch. And uh, the, the comments are endless. They're just coming through. We are live on Facebook. So those of us who want to see Uchinoko and myself, you can go straight on Facebook and, 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 and see us. But Ochi, right. do you miss radio in Ghana? I'm still on radio. Why can I thought FM in Accra? Mm. For yeah, uh, three years now. Wow. Twenty second of this month gonna be three years working with Hot FM in Accra, and I enjoy it. How are you able to do that? When I come here, you see me doing it. You are you going to come here? Yes, of course. I'm here. Ultimate Netflix. Look here. So what, how come you? This? How come I'm your I'm your sweetheart? You haven't told me. That is your mobile phone. I see in your what, hand. What brand? It's a Samsung. Is this a Samsung or an iPhone? No, iPhone. Oh, that's an iPhone. Yeah. yeah. This is an iPhone that's 10. That's an iPhone. iPhone, iPhone 10. 10. iPhone 10, yeah. More advanced. It's wow. not in the system. So how come you have it? Customized. How come you have from, it? From um, um, Harvard University. Wow. Yeah. So I have everything here. Okay. It's going to capture you. You're unstoppable. Tells me the color of your dress. Everything. What we have here. Did you did you go for a customized iPhone? That's what I'm saying. So it can, it can tell I'm, you who we're dealing with. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Twenty-two thousand dollars with many here. You bought this twenty-two thousand dollars with your, I, I, your own money. Yes, That's of course. Why would you Why would you buy an iPhone for twenty-two thousand dollars? Because it's custom customized. That's what I use when I go to the studios. I have everything here. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Playing music. How do you everything. do that? You connect. I, I, I you would connect be, it to the machine. Yeah. Goodness. To the console. Then flip Ultimate it FM. for reggae. Wow. Everything. Wow. Cause everything. You're making me believe in God yes, more. Yes, of course, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm okay. Like, if I want to dash you, right? If I want to dash you, I just, you know, switch the phone on, capture the currency. It's going to tell me, oh, this is 10 bucks. This is 20 bucks. This is 100 bucks. You get my point? Mm -hmm. Right. So that's what I do. So you're coming back to radio in Kumasi. Do you miss Kumasi? FM. No, I haven't missed Kumasi. Why? Nothing. <laughs> I love radio and I cannot quit radio, but I haven't missed Kumasi. Why haven't you missed Kumasi? I don't know. Kuma you felt that Kumasi didn't treat you well? Not really. But what? Not really. But it's linked within me and my soul. Okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. So my, my, my short prayer is like God should guide me from my friends. Oh. God should guide me from my friends. Oh. Because your enemy stay far away from you. Friends will come to you, dine with you. You see that stuff wise in their mouth. That's their teeth. And that tells you they are your friends. But in the now share, they've harbored bad intentions mm. against you to eliminate you. Mm. And that's what happened to me. Ultimate FM. Do you miss Kwame Dinkra? Kwame. Mm. Come again. Do you miss Kwame Dinkra? Nope. Why? Nope. Would you love to work with him? Nope. <laughs> Why? This face they're saying nope, dear. Yeah, yeah. This face they are smiling and saying no. Nope. <laughs> I don't want to work with Kwame Dinkra. Why don't and you? And I don't, I, I don't want to see his face too. Why? And I don't like Kwame who be talking to me. Why? Nothing. You know, I, I, I always try to speak the truth. Why should I hide behind a screen? 
Okay. You don't want Kwame Adinkra to talk to you. No. Why? No. Is there a particular reason? Yes, of course. You can even call him if you have time. Okay. For me to tell him on the face. Can my producers call me Kwame Adinkra on the phone? If they line? can do that. Okay. The power of radio. If my producers can do that, I'll be very grateful so that you would have a chit chat with Kwame Adinkra. When was the last time you spoke with him? I don't even know why I'm asking about Kwame Adinkra. Kwame Adinkra. When was the last time you spoke with him? Ultimate FM. It's been ages. Ages. Yeah. Like many years. Yeah, that's what I said. More than it's five been years. Of course. Okay. All right. Okay. So you're coming back to Kumasi? No, I came for funeral. Okay. And I'm on my way to Accra. So why are people saying you should come to EIB? Would you like to come to EIB? Because they love my voice. Would you love to? Jo- would you want to join EIB? How much do you have on the table? Ultimately. <laughs> How much you guys have on the table? You should be asking Bola. Hey, no, I don't know. You asking me? You can choose to call him on the line. You are asking me. Okay. What do you have on the table? Just tell me. What would, what then, would, it, what would it take for you to join EIB? Me? Mm-hmm. Ah, my goodness. Heavens. <laughs> <laughs> if you can give me heavens, I'll be all set to work with you guys. A lot of people are excited that you are in the re- you are in the studio this morning. Right. Mame Kunaidu Bacha says, "Thank God he's back and fit now." D Dabo says, "Does Ochinoko have any ambitions of doing radio again?" Yes, he but said. I'm it. still in radio. He's still in radio. Born winner says, uh, "I'm really so sad seeing Ochinoko." Born winner, don't be sad. He himself is happy, and I am happy. Ah. He's making me smile this morning. Uh, you said, "What would it take for you to join EIB?" Heavens. Heavens. Yeah. If we are on earth and you want heavens yeah, on earth. Yeah. I want something bigger than the station itself. You want something bigger yeah. than the station itself. Because, you know what? Uh, uh, one's trash is one's, you know, uh, treasure, you know? Mm-hmm. As I sit here, somebody will just see you, if you're not on the radio, like maybe on the roadside, mm. because you cannot see. You are trash. You get my point here? Mm. But when I go straight into the studios, I become treasure for the station. Mm. You're right. Uh, this one says, bless up, Miss Na, coming from Majesty of Swami. Listening to us, they enjoying our conversation. David Probity says, ultimate chat to the juicy motivator, Miss Na, Claudio Donko. This is the truth. I love every bit of you. This man is very strict. And Ochinoko, <laughs> that is his name. I, I'm told you you're very strict. Are you a strict person? Yes, of course. Because... Are you a disciplined person? Yeah. I was once in the army. So old soldier never dies. But they say disciplined people don't love girls. But you just told me you love girls. Ultimate FM. Yeah, that's what that's what I want. <laughs> is In that my what, life, is, yeah. Is that I what pray, makes you happy? Yeah, I pray, I eat, love and sleep. Mm. That is me. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to put Kwame Adinkra on the line, but I'm told that he has a presentation somewhere, so he's busy currently. So we're gonna do it some other time. Yes. Right. Okay. So should I put Bolare on the line as well? You can do so. Would you talk to him? I have no problem. Okay. What if I put Bellare on the line and he says he wants you to come to EIB? Would you say yes or no? It's going to be a conversation between two of us on air live for everyone to listen. Because I'm a truthful man and I love truthful people. Mm. <laughs> this one says, hi, Miss Na. Good morning. Ochinoko has made my day. I really like him and happy to hear from him again. Matoda of South Centreso. Um... Would you like to speak to any of my listeners if, if if they have to call and say one or two things to you? Is that fine? Preferably women. <laughs> not men. Both men and women listen to my show, no, which you know I, for, I don't for your information. No, I don't want to talk to men. <laughs> BHR, good morning to you. Uh, are we calling? Who are we calling? Bolare? Okay, you want to speak to Bolare? No on problem, my show? no okay, problem. Okay, that's nice. Let's see if we can talk to Bolare in just about three or four minutes. Um, uh, this one says, good morning to the award-winning show and the award-winning presenter, Miss Na, the Juicy Baby. Shouts to Tim Na, members, Enes Latte Walker. You're loving what we are doing. This one says, good morning, Miss Na. It's always inspiring to hear your voice on a Monday morning. I'm doing the listening with my pals. Rash come from Pankono and you say you are enjoying it. This is an eye-opening opener eye-opening interview for all of you i hear you thanks to the fm thanks to the grace of god and the wisdom of god <laughs> Ochi, right i'm trying to put bolare on the line if i put bolare on the line what would be the first word from you to him no you are calling him i don't know why you're calling him but you want to i speak- said you guys want to work with me and i'm saying what do you have on the table and he said you're calling your ceo 
So you come in first, then you leave the rest of the story to <laughs> four of us, then we continue. Ultimate FM. Even in, in the course of the conversation, you can also interject. So that shouldn't be a problem. I can interject. Yes, of course. Okay. Don't you worry. I have just about three minutes to say goodbye, but I'm going to activate the phone lines for my listeners to call you right. and speak with you. 0322085551, 0322085552, 0322085552. But a little bit tells me that um, you you are likely to come to uh, Ebusia FM. Is that right? No. Ultimate so that FM. is not true? It's not true. It is not true? Yeah. Even yeah. this morning I had a call from BBC. Like I was coming. I said, no. BBC called you that you're yes, coming to yeah, FM? Yes, of course. No. That you're coming called to me. Now, yeah. And I said, no, it's not true. Wow. Mm-hmm. Even CNN. They called you? Yeah. Ultimate FM. As it says, immortal, okay, is a human being who can die. Im- uh, mo- mortal is a human being who can die. Immortal is a... Uh is being able to live forever. Ever, yes. All right. 0322085551 and 0322085552. I think I have just two minutes or three to cross over to Star and bring you the Star Midday News. If you are able to call through, that's fine. If not, I'm sure we can do this another time when I have right. another opportunity with Uchinoko. But uh, in all in... Okay. Good Hello, good morning. Good morning, Miss Na. Yes, you're live on the show, David. Talk to us. Oh, uh, Mr. Uchinoko. Yes, sir. Ah, I thank you very much for saying certain things that we wanted to know. Mm-hmm. Um, please, I come say, um, when um, on your show eh, on at our uh, Israel FM and then Fox FM, the way you normally deal with the issue is like you don't fear anything. What is the courage? Says, where do you get the courage from? You're not afraid. That, that, of that, you know, I am still in radio, so I cannot reveal that. That's my secret, and that makes me power. That's that's true. Full, yeah, that's true. Ultimate FM. That's true. Okay, we are wrapping it up right now. Frank Sapon says, "Come now, may God, may the good Lord be with you." Um, this one says, I am knelling in lots from Uchinoko this morning from your interview. Now, nah, beware of friends. Hashtag, I miss him. Back on the line. Hello, good morning. Hello, Nana. Hi. Talk to us quickly in thirty seconds. Hi, man. Okay, but that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you for calling us. We really appreciate it. Last one, hello? Yes, hello. Good Hi. afternoon. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, can we do it quick? Please? Yeah, I want to talk to Ochinoku. All right, go ahead. Ochinoku. Hello. Yeah, how are you? Good. This is Nanayao. I'm a Spepa Zilla. Nanayao, do you know me? Mm. Nanayao, I was giving you Spepas for yeah, your message. Yeah, 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 Please. Okay. Right after the program, so, now give out my number, so no problem. You get it? Actually, I'm also in Kumbasa now. Okay. So I'll come to Accra. I, I, I wrote, you are in the hot FM. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, Nanaya, can we do this quickly? Because we don't have enough time. We're going over to start. Oshi, finally, anything you want to share with me? Right. Uh, it's been good, you know, mm. having me here. Mm. And... Uh, I'd like to say big thanks to your manager, Alfred. I get it correct? Yes. Yeah. and um, Patrick. Patrick. Yeah, mm. that's the name. Patrick. Mm. You know, for bringing me in here. And you too, as a host. <laughs> and your listeners. So you uh, didn't miss me. You were just excited being <laughs> me being the host. <laughs> you know, uh, I know very for sure it's not going to end here. Mm. And I know we're going to pick it up. Mm. Where we're living it today, mm. some other time. Mm. So, peace. So, if I hear people say Ochinoko is coming back to Kumasi, I shouldn't be worried. Yeah. I should believe it. Nope. <laughs> Just mere speculations. I hear you.